Good morning, guys. How do you like the new hat? Hashtag the fringe. Put it in the comment section, please, because we are the fringe. We are the people that are going to live outside of the little great reset that they want to do. You know, where most people are going to own nothing and be happy. Well, I've got news for them. I've already owned nothing and I wasn't happy. <laughs> So before we get into the following 20 facts that's going to make you want to buy food and push this home and put a stopper in everybody's mouth that says I'm a fear monger, roll the new intro and let me know what you think. Woo! All right, number one. One of France's most important government officials is telling us that we should brace ourselves for an extremely serious global food crisis. Joe Biden, number two, recently admitted that food shortages are going to be real. His administration is now openly using the word famine to describe what's coming. Number three, Germany, German supermarkets have raised the prices on their groceries 20 to 50% overnight. Imagine that. Might as well go ahead and start thinking about it. Number four, rationing has already started to begin in Spain. The country started experiencing sporadic shortages of different products like eggs, milk, and other dairy products almost immediately following the outbreak of the war in Ukraine. A lot of this has to do, has to do with the war. Uh, Ukraine's the breadbasket of Europe, enough said. Number five, rationing has also started in Greece. At least four national supermarket chains have already started rationing food, food products like flour, and sunflower oil due to critically low supplies by the crippled supply chain coming out of Russia and Ukraine. Another, another Russia and Ukraine deal. Number six, this is interesting. This guy didn't miss much. The head of BlackRock is warning that this will be the very first time this generation is going to go into a store and not be able to get what they want. President Rob Capito told an audience in Texas, the entire younger generation is quickly going to find out what it means to suffer from food shortages. Quote, and we have a very entitled generation that has never had to sacrifice. Couldn't agree more. Number seven, fertilizer prices are up as much as 300%. That is persuading the farmers to fertilize less and have smaller yields on top of famine and all these other shortages. Number eight, Many farmers in Africa will not be able to afford fertilizer at all. Like they're not going to use less. They're going to use zero. This is being projected that this will reduce agriculture production by, the, by an amount capable of feeding 100 million people. There's going to be lots of hungry mouths next year. Number nine. Russia is normally one of the biggest global exporters of fertilizer. See, another Russia story. Russia is one of the biggest exporters of three major groups of fertilizers, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Physical supply cuts could further inflate fertilizer prices. Number 10, in a typical year, Russia and Ukraine collectively account for approximately 30% of all global wheat exports. Number 11, half of America's wheat imports usually come from either Russia or Ukraine. Back to Russia and Ukraine. Number 12, other nations rely on wheat exports from Russia and Ukraine even more than Africa does. Armenia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, and Eritrea, I don't know what that is, have imported virtually all, over the, all of their wheat from Russia and Ukraine and must find a new source. But they are competing against much lar larger buyers, including Turkey, Egypt, Bangladesh, and Iran. That is really going to drive the food price up which have obtained more than 60% of their wheat from the two warring, warring countries. 13, one Russian official is warning that his nation may soon only export food to friendly nations. Russia will limit its vital food exports to only nation, its nations it's considered friendly. Who might that be, China? Number 14, <clears throat> On Friday, it was announced that another 5 million egg-laying chickens in Iowa would have to be put down because of the bird flu. Number 15, the death toll from the bird flu in Iowa will be pushed beyond 13 million. It's more than that now. This is a few days old. 
Number 16, overall, this is what the total national death toll from the bird flu currently looks like. 24 million egg-laying chickens, 1.8 broiler chickens, 1.9 million pullet and other commercial chickens, and 1.9 million turkeys. China's agricultural minister has announced that the winter wheat harvest in China could be the worst in history. 18. We are being warned that the winter wheat harvest in the United States will be disastrous due to severe drought. A lot of you guys already know this stuff, but I'm, I'm getting all 20 of them out there. Number 19. During a recent interview, one prominent U.S. Far farmer stated that most Americans won't like it when the grocery bill is over 1000 a month. This is for real, guys. This isn't. This is legit. Get ready. Number 20. The head of the UN World Food Program says that what the planet is now facing is unlike anything that we've seen since World War II. Ukraine has only compounded a catastrophe on top of catastrophe, said David Beasley, the executive director of the World Food Program. So don't argue with me if you don't believe it. Argue with them. The United Nations Agency that feeds 125 million a day says there is no, quote, there is no president even close to this since World War II. We have been warned over and over again that this day was coming, and now it is here. So, the solution, buy food. It's still in the stores. The grocery stores are still pretty fat. The back rooms probably are not. I haven't been there in a while and gone in the back room. They don't really like me videotaping, but I don't care too much. I'm going to do it a little bit anyway. When the shortages start showing up more prevalent, I will get it on camera. I promise. But for now, y'all have an awesome, awesome day. I will see you in the next one. Later.